Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. We'll start by looking at the, the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally all the way up to 92.13 before giving most of those gains back. So 20 exponential has been very supportive the last uh, uh, two to three weeks. We have been bouncing off the 20 exponential and gradually going towards the 200 moving average. If we manage to break above the 200 moving average, then we could go significantly higher uh, for in the, the US dollar index. And that will uh, basically be very negative for for gold, for example, for other commodities and indices, stocks, and so on. So we had this gradual grind for basically since March, and you have been seeing indices and stocks and so on all rallying significant high levels in the same period. So if this changes, if we manage to break about the 200 moving average, then yes, that opens the door to much, much higher levels. If we break down from here from the 20 exponential towards the 50, that opens the door to 19.81 and below that all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band at 89.83. Technically, they are well all over the place. Uh, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, Sarcastic is bearish and the MACD is flat at this current stage. So let's look at oil. So oil fell, well, this was not a very good uh, week for oil. So uh, we are down for the week around 7%. It has been fell for five consecutive days, all the way down to the 50 moving average. And today we rallied. It was a certain um, point where I thought this was just going to absolutely collapse uh, additional uh, around the 2 3% uh, below the 50 moving average but the 50 moving average is holding at this current stage technical years are very bearish so we're not out of the woods yet even though we have this rally here that is not strange considering that we have basically been falling the last um, last five trading days and this was basically a move of 10 percent only this um, yeah, uh, yesterday so rally was expected we did not test the 20 exponential so we don't know whether or not that is acting as resistant or uh, at, at this current stage so um, yes time will tell on monday but break below the 50 moving average that could open the door to 55 and probably all the way down to the 50 dollar range break about the 20 exponential then we are looking towards 70. so let's look at natural gas so natural gas has rallied today we ended right above the 200 moving average so we are in the downtrend. It is um, there's no question about that. We did rally towards the highs here of a 3.0, and then we broke all the way down below the 200 moving average at the 2.2.4. Uh, and now today we have rallied yet again, and now we're trading at 2.56. Taking in the gears, they are basically uh, they are bearish at this point, but they are turning around. So. What most likely will happen here is that we will rally up towards the 20 uh, exponential or the simple moving average of uh, roughly 2.69 uh, before continuing lower. We are entering the uh, period of the year where less demand is for natural gas. And uh, usually what happens is that you gradually grind lower uh, in this uh, in natural gas. So we have this spike in the winter months and then you have this gradual uh, decline and then you spike again in the winter months but we need to break below the 200 moving average first before seeing this go significantly lower so let's look at copper so copper had fell well below the 20 exponential today all the way down to 4.01 and then rallied to, to, to 4.1 Technical indicators, they are all over the place. MACD is bearish, CCI, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So no real help there, but uh, break above the middle of the bullish band, we could see the, then a rally towards 4.27 and break below the 
20 exponential moving average that could open the door to the very lows here up to 3.9 and the 50 moving average at 3.8 so let's look at gold so gold is just sticking around at the 20 exponential and that is not a very good sign so you can just look at when we have had these rallies in the past it usually takes two or three days where we just hang around at a certain price level before it basically drops so we see it here we see it here again here and again here so if you get another red candlestick here on monday that could basically mean that we will drop all the way down to 1700 1700 and then all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band at roughly 1667 technical conditions are still fairly bearish we are still in a downward um, trend as the macd is underneath zero and we have basically been trending downwards since uh, all the way back to august beginning of august when we hit the very highs here so yes at the moment it looks like we're just doing the same thing rallying up towards the middle of the bullish round 20 exponential and then breaking to even lower levels so let's look at silver very similar here we're just hanging around just underneath the 20 and the, and the 50 moving average and usually when this happens when you cannot break uh, break above you basically break to the downside so 25 dollars is most likely where we find a major support technically they are also fairly all over the place the rsi is flat cci is flat stochastic is bullish and the macd is flat at this current stage if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then we could head towards 27.5 so let's look at platinum so platinum did break towards the 50 moving average and then rally so um, a good rally and now we basically ended right at the 20 exponential moving average technically good they are all uh, either are bearish or becoming bearish so both the macd and the stochastic are crossing the signal line to the downside cci is bearish and the rsi is bearish so it does favor the downside even though we have this pullback here it may well be that we'll break the 50 moving average and head towards these previous lows of 1116. so let's look at pallium so pallium has had a major week or last a week and a half where we basically rallied from the 200 moving average down here at 2.257 and all the way up to 2.750 so there is a pullback expected we saw quite a big pullback today we're still outside of the bullish band and as long as that is the case you should expect this to pull back but we'll probably find major support here at the previous size of 2.5 before going higher so yes we'll basically say if you find support here it is uh, fairly likely that we'll rally to the upside if we break back into war into the square that we were trading in for several months then we could head all the way down to the 200 moving average technical indicators at the moment are either bullish or bearish the macd is bullish and the stochastic cci and the rsi are all bearish at this current stage so let's look at aluminium so aluminium had a major day today and we went way outside of the bullish band so Usually when this happens, you have a snapback towards the middle. Uh, 20 exponential has offered a lot of support in the past and probably will also do that in the future. This has been an instrument that has basically been all over the place. You can just see the choppiness here of, uh, of gaps up, gaps down, and, and so on. So uh, probably the only really reliable thing here is that the 20... Uh, Exponential moving average has been holding as support and it has been rallying from that support for the last uh, month and a half. So technical indicators, they are all bullish at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel uh, rallied a little bit today. We also broke down towards the 200 moving average and then rally and now we're basically in the green. Technical indicators are basically look like they're about to turn to the upside but we're still in the same range there's nothing changed uh, this week or basically last week from this massive breakdown so we don't know if we break below the 200 moving average and we do not know whether or not we managed to break above the 20 exponential moving average 
when we get there. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continues to fall. We went all the way down to 0 0.1551 and then rallied a little bit, but it's not a massive rally. Or, or So at this current stage, we may just see more of the same. If we manage to rally up towards the 20 exponential or the 50 moving average, it will most likely will be sold into uh, until we get to, well, these previous lows here. So at this current stage, we are in a downtrend. Technical indicators are very bearish. So probably rallies towards the 20 and the 50, they will be sold into very heavily. If we manage to break above that, then yes, these previous highs here of rough 0 0.1648 will most likely be where we'll find resistance. But at this current stage, it does favor the downside. So let's look at cotton. So cotton also fell and then uh, uh, pulled back basically towards the 20, uh, 50 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish for cotton. So if you manage to, to get a red candlestick underneath the 50 moving average, that could open the door to 0 0.8 and even, below, even lower than that. So we have had a massive pullback. But at this current stage, we are right at the 50 moving average. If we get a green candlestick here, we'll probably test the 20 and the exponential and the 20 simple moving average. And if we manage to break above that, then we'll head towards 0 0.9. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa broke down yet again today, as I technically expected yesterday, and found major support at the 200 moving average. We have been here before, for example, here, but we did break later on down towards the bottom of the bullish band before rallying. So we're trading at the very highs, at the high, not very highs, but the highs here at 2.8, lows at the 2.2, and then this mid range here at 2.6, and then 2.368. And now we're testing the 200 moving average. So this has basically been all over the place. The last few uh, month and a half or basically several months and has been fairly untradeable for a very long time we haven't seen a move like this predictable moves to the upside or predictable moves to the downside for example like this for a very long time it has basically been all over the place and therefore is nearly just gambling so let's look at wheat so wheat continues to fall. We are trading at 626 at its current stage. Technical indicators are all turning uh, turning negative or have been very negative for a very long time. And it looks like rallies towards the 20 exponential, they will be sold into until we get towards 600 or even the 200 moving average here at 583. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow here us, us here on eTro. And you can also copy our trade here. Good luck and thank you very much.